All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about Tim Bradley talking out the side of his neck and Gervonta Davis exposing him for doing so. Boxing fans pointing out very, very clearly what a hypocrite Tim Bradley is being in his relentless butthurt attack on PBC fighters, which is completely and utterly over the top and completely transparent and hypocritical. I'll let you know why in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we are back in the 135 pound division where obviously there's a big fight that's gonna take place or a very good fight that's gonna be taking place uh, this evening between uh, Shakur Stevenson, one of the best fighters in boxing, one of the best fighters in the lightweight division who is fighting for his WBC title uh, that Devin Haney dropped instead of fighting him. He will be fighting for that against Edwin De Los Santos, and who, by the way, I have to tell you, is a PBC fighter uh, where, you know, these fights never get made. Right. However, we know when the fights get made, the fights get made by top rank against PBC fighters when Bob Aram feels that his fighter can win. Otherwise, the fight's not going to happen. However, that record everybody talks about is probably going to click up another notch to 21 and four or whatever it is, because Shakur Stevenson is going to beat, at least in my opinion, beat Edwin De Los Santos. However, uh, at the same time, since it's a lightweight fight, you know, the full Gervonta Davis clout chase environment is in full flex. So you can't have a, a lightweight fight without bringing up Gervonta Davis and talking bad about Gervonta Davis, Tim Bradley being no exception. In this circumstance, though, he's completely and utterly a hypocrite. Now, what does he say? He says that Gervonta Davis is being protect protected. Shakur Stevenson is going to beat him. As soon as they allow Gervonta, uh, Gervonta Davis to fight somebody, he's going to be exposed. And that's why those fights aren't going to happen because they're trying to protect and trying to hide Gervonta Davis away from all of these guys that are going to beat him. Now, I don't have a problem if you say you believe Shakur Stevenson can beat Gervonta Davis. Shakur Stevenson is an excellent fighter. And uh, there's a whole bunch of people that don't want to fight Shakur Stevenson, like Lee, like Vasily Lomachenko, like Devin Haney, and like everybody else in the lightweight division that I know of for the most part, because who really wants to fight a dude like that, who you 90%, 99% chance are going to lose to, right? And not make that much money while you're doing it. However, it was brought out to my attention that had Gervonta Davis had already had an issue with, with Tim Bradley. And I remember when it took place and the word that he used to describe Tim Bradley as a fighter when he was inducted, when, it, when the news came out that he was going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame was ASS. Tim Bradley is ass. <laughs> <laughs> as a fighter and saying, I don't know why, basically saying, I don't know why this guy's going into the Hall of Fame. He's not a good fighter, which bring brought many boxing fans in and shout out to everybody that said it, uh, it, it brought the, it brought it to my attention. And I do recall that Tim Bradley is a heck of a hypocrite to talk about protecting himself and hiding himself, hiding from fighters that could beat you because Tim Bradley has most definitely did that in his career by refusing to even make himself available to fight two dudes that would have mopped the floor with Tim Bradley and maybe exposed Tim Bradley and prevented Tim Bradley from getting into the hall from getting into the Hall of Fame. And who are those? Obviously, Floyd Mayweather Jr. And Errol Spence Jr. during two phases of his career. If you guys do not recall, Tim Bradley was a 140 pound fighter who was a champion at 140 pounds. He beat a PBC fighter, I do believe, for a championship belt. And the guy's name that he had beaten was Devin Alexander. In the first fight that I really think was a big fight for a big win for Tim Bradley. Right. So Devin Alexander 
was represented by Al Heyman. Tim Bradley fought him, beat him. But when he went to 147, he made a curious decision, which was when he had an option not to sign, re-sign with top rank and get a fight in line for a fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr., he decided to say no, not pursue the fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr. to go fight Manny Pacquiao and get a line, get to fight with Top Rank, where he could get a bunch of fights lined up that were very winnable fights for him until he ultimately got the fight with Manny Pacquiao, which was far less lucrative than a fight that he would have had with Floyd Mayweather Jr. So was was so when Tim Bradley decided to sign and pass up the money and pass up the opportunity to fight the best fighter in the world. Uh, was he protected by Bob Arum or did he go hide behind Bob Arum to not fight Floyd Mayweather Jr., the fighter that was almost universally recognized as the best fighter in boxing? And then what else did he do? He also got out of the way of a young Errol Spence Jr. when he was at 147 pounds and Errol was an up and coming fighter in 147 pounds. And I do believe at a point in time was either as mandatory or close to being as named as mandatory. But Tim Bradley refused to fight Errol Spence Jr. as well. So I uh, maybe t- Tim Bradley's statements regarding uh, uh, Gervonta Davis is a is a not so much, you know, keen observation from a from an objective standpoint, but more of a it takes one to know one. <laughs> it takes somebody to, that knows that they can't beat certain guys in their division. So find a convenient way out to not do it. Right. Looking and claiming that somebody else is doing the same thing. However, if we actually look at what when, what goes on with Gervonta Davis, I don't think you actually see that because, number one, this is Shakur Stevenson's second fight at one hundred and thirty five pounds. He was at one thirty. Gervonta Davis was not at 130 while Shakur was at 130. Shakur was at 126 when Gervonta was at 130. When Shakur went to 130, Gervonta Davis is at 135 pounds. Now Shakur has been at 135. This is his second fight. Don't you think it is a little bit premature to be claiming that that he, Gervonta Davis, is avoiding and trying to hide from Shakur Stevenson because Shakur Stevenson is going to expose him just a little bit. What I think is, is is another way that these, that people that, that top rank can claim one thing they claim, they can claim that they have the best fighters, but that, and that the big name fighters don't want to fight them without addressing the problem. Why is it that your fighters are so good, but nobody, but not a lot of people actually want to see them fight while these other guys are out there and, uh, and people actually want to see and actually want to pay for these guys to fight this. Every other fight eventually winds up getting made between the PBC and top rank provided top rank is willing to make the fight. At least that's the way that I've seen it. But man, Tim Bradley got to get off this hate campaign that he got with the PBC. It's way over the top. And Gervonta Davis, uh, uh, man, dude, you guys just, they spend more time tearing down Gervonta Davis to build up their fighter than any of, than anything else. But that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.